Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to day two of another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles week here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we're looking at Ace Duck, who was one of my favorite Turtles figures when I was a kid. Uh, he had a real kind of adventurer, Indiana Jones, Baloo from Tailspin kind of vibe. And uh, the fact that he had those cool wings. And I'm dying to see how Super 7 handled the wings. Uh, as I tell you guys often, you know, I don't look too closely at this stuff when I order it. I just know that's a character I want. Super 7 is making a toy I have to have, uh, and I want to do an unboxing. So I'm not going to sit here and look at every single little thing that it comes with or how it's done. Uh, I want to have the magic of opening this item and sharing it here with you guys. Uh, you can see you've got that beautiful embossed ace duck on the front with the wings. A little slip cover comes off and we have Ace Duck, the aerodynamic adventurer. Hungry for duck brain, Krang ordered Shredder to beam an earthbound duck to Dimension X. There's a shortage of ducks in Dimension X. While transmuting the duck, famous test pilot Ace Conrad accidentally flew into the energy beam. The emerging plane was suddenly piloted by Ace Duck, the aerodynamic adventurer with a big bill. The plane plummeted into the inner city and slid nose first into the sewer. Ace escaped without ruffling his feathers and found himself at the secret hideout of the turtles. And there he is, Ace Duck. Uh, right off the bat, I'll tell you this, uh, his jacket and his hat are a little lighter than I'd like. Uh, I feel like they should be a darker brown than that. Um, interesting. I don't... I don't hate it, but I sure do wish these were a darker brown. All right, let's open this guy up and get a closer look. He's, he's very, uh, what's the word, uh, pastel looking, his palette. Oh man, look at those wings though, that's fantastic. And we're, uh, they're all kinds of great. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, the sprue is landing gear. The wings are fantastic. Are they? Yeah, they're just tabs holding them in. They're just holding them in really, really well. All right, there we go. Let's set those to the side and get everything else out of here uh wow man i'm so excited to have this guy uh he was one of the ones you know once it became clear that super seven was continuing which isn't it weird to look back and think that there was a point where we really didn't know super seven would get much further than the original turtles and like shredder and whatever else like who knew nobody knew for sure that they would make it to characters like ace duck but right off the bat, he was one of the ones that I was hoping, like, man, I feel like if there's a if there's a short list of tertiary characters, because I guess he's because the turtles are your primary characters. Uh, maybe the turtles and Shredder are your primary characters, uh, and then Splinter, Rocksteady, Bebop, like kind of the, that crew would be secondary characters, and I know. There might be some argument to be made about whether Splinter's a primary character. And, and you know what? Honestly, he probably is. Uh, but Ace Duck is, I, I mean, I, I think for sure he's hes a tertiary character. He's, he's a uh, supporting, distant supporting, a uh, guest cast, not even supporting cast, guest star. There you go. I think that's a good way to put it. Man, I love this alternate portrait. This guy is so great. Like I said, I just wish the, the brown was darker. I wonder why they went with that lighter color for that. All right. Uh, the tail, if you don't like him having a tail, as you can see. Let's see. Let's get that bandolier off. Uh, as you can see, the tail pops right off. So if your ace duck preference is a tailless ace duck, which I believe mine probably is, uh, that tail clips into place. 
Let's see how well it's in there. Oh, it's in there just fine. I think just in the packaging, it wasn't plugged all the way in. Uh, so he can have a tail or not. Look at those big webbed feet. Oh, okay. His, uh, the ball joint that connects is turned. So let's get that turned around the right way. There we go. His proportions are great. One of the issues that I had, and, it, and I saw it in the store, it ended up being a great looking figure. Uh, one of the issues that I had with NECA's Ace Duck was he looked weirdly like a, a human body with a duck head on, like just proportionally, he was very strange to me. Uh, Super 7 has gone with sort of the original character's proportions, uh, and I think it works really, really well. So this jacket has the holes in the back so that you can plug the wings in if you want to display him that way. Uh, and the wings work, and those pegs are small. I might heat this up before attempting this. I'm going to give it a, a, a gentle push test. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to heat that up before I try and put those in. Um, cause I really don't want to snap those little pegs. Let's see. Let me try. Yeah, that's going to get heated up first. So anyway, uh, you can see though, uh, those holes in the back of the jacket or where the wings go. I will absolutely be displaying him with the wings. I'm just not positive about the tail. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at the wings. I guess we'll get back to the figure in a minute. Uh, you can see there's a nice paint job with a little darker wash on top of the lighter yellow feathers. That's a great touch because that was one of the weird things about the original figure. Or not weird, just one of the production things uh, is his wings were just yellow. Just straight yellow. Had no real depth or character. They just always kind of stood out a little bit. But these are a lot more natural looking. Uh, look great. And I guess since it's over to the side, we'll go ahead and take a look at his sprue with the landing gear, which is a fantastic touch. Uh, his bandolier, his pistol, and his egg grenades, which a little demented, isn't it? That a duck is throwing uh, eggs at his foes. Uh, so portrait-wise, this is very much like the original portrait. And they get into tricky territory anytime you're doing like a cartoon duck portrait. You can't look too much like Donald or Daffy, or you might get sued. Uh, so they had to really make him distinctive. Uh, and you can see the paint, uh, same thing. He's got that darker yellow wash on top of the light yellow of the feathers. Uh, he's got a lot of character. Look at the, the way they've done his feathers, almost like kind of a, a hairstyle. Like it's combed over to the side, kind of a swashbuckly type look there. But this, as much as I like this head, well, we'll get to the other one in a minute. Uh, he's got the cool patches sculpted on here. Really nice sculpted detail, all just uh, painted red. On the back, he's got the Turtles logo on the jacket, which I really like. It is kind of odd that... It's got a sculpt around the outside for the shape of the shell, but then it's just tampoed on there. I almost wish they had just left that sculpted ring off, because now it looks a little awkward. Kind of weird. Uh, and then he's got his jeans on, just uh, light blue jeans, no extra paint on those, and that's fine because he looks good. I think they've done a nice job with uh, the clothing. I really do wish the jacket was darker. That's probably my biggest uh, my biggest issue here is it just doesn't pop next to the yellow enough. But uh, sculpt and design wise, he's fantastic. Okay, so let's set. Oh, and the way I think I pointed out the webbed feet already, but man, those look great. Uh, let's set Ace himself to the side and take a look at his accessories. Uh, first, we've got this alternate portrait with a cigar. How awesome is that? This guy actually came with a cigar. The only thing is I wish that 
you could put like I want the hat head with the cigar and that's that isn't going to work so I do kind of hate that they limited limited it that way uh, but this portrait is fantastic. Just look at that grimace, those furrowed eyebrows, and a cigar. So wild. Uh, and then we've got goggles. Oh, to go with that head. Uh, so let's see. I think those are going to go on that way so they can sit above the brow or because they are a softer plastic, you can get them. Oh, that's so great. I love this head. Oh, man. This is awesome. I, this is going to be a very tough decision for me, whether I go traditional with that original head with the pilot's hat. You see some nice paint on that. Yeah, you've got a little flash over here on the side. Otherwise, looks good. And how does it fit? You can see it's sculpted the way that his feathers are. Oh, and it actually does snap into place uh, and looks great. Would look better if it was darker brown. Uh, but look at that. That's some good toy design right there. It actually does uh, clip onto those sculpted feathers. Uh, he's got his bandolier for his egg grenades, which is a great touch. Let's get that on. Let's see, which way is that going to... It's actually going to go that way. It seems like it's a little big, to be honest. I don't know which way this is supposed to go. Actually, the buckle, I think, should be towards the bottom. My personal opinion on that one. Yeah, I think that looks better with the buckle at the bottom. Uh, maybe it's not... Uh, it's a little big. I feel like this should be just slightly smaller. Like, it should fit more like like that maybe uh, but that's okay it works if it was too small that would be a problem it would just look foolish <laughs> this anthropomorphic duck would look silly gosh he comes with so much stuff they really went all out with this one uh, so he's got the alternate jacket piece uh, that you can swap out and cover up those wing holes. And I will, just for fun, let's see. Yeah, that arm does not want to come out. So I'm going to heat that up and swap that out later. But you can see the, you know, nice paint on the zipper. Looks good. Great alternate piece. If you don't want to display those wings... Uh, and then he comes with six egg grenades that I would imagine, well, we're going to look and see. Yeah, they are all the same sculpt, and there's no reason they shouldn't be. Uh, but it is, you can see a little crack in the egg right there, uh, the sculpt and the paint on the top portion. Very well done. And they fit in that bandolier which you can display on him or not. And I, I don't know, I might not. It's a little big and unwieldy. I like beyond the fact that I think it's slightly too large. It's also just kind of big and bulky and detracting from the, the profile that I want a little bit. So I may not display him with that as cool as it is. Uh, it's very, very toyetic. Uh, he has a Tommy gun in traditional Ninja Turtle style. It's got extra elements, the wrapped handles. Looks beautiful and can be held with some of the alternate hands. Uh, he's got sort of open hands here. And these are all specific to Ace Duck because, as you can see, uh, they all have feathers on the back of those hands. So he has got uh, just sort of open hands. 
Well, wait. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Okay, so he's got open, uh, sort of coming at you hands, getting ready to attack hands. Uh, he has got neutral, completely neutral hands. He's got two trigger finger hands, and he's got fists for punching. So lots of hand options with this guy. And then finally, he's got a pistol. Pistol looks great. I kind of wish he had a holster, but at the same time, if it was sculpted as big as that bandolier, I guess it's not something I would want. Uh, but of course, the pistol is going to fit. Let's find out how well. Oh, perfectly. Into that trigger finger hand. Uh, and then the Tommy gun, I would imagine, will fit just as well. I'd, I really kind of do want to have him just with the the Tommy gun. Yeah, Tommy gun also fits perfectly into the trigger finger hand. Looks great. Uh, so there you go. That is uh, wingless. Let me get these wings in here. Okay, as sometimes happens, I was making things more complicated than they needed to be. The head popped right off. But I will say this, when you're putting this head on, put all of the force, be very careful to push directly down on the top of the head. Do not put any force on this at all, because you guys know that thing might rip right out of his mouth. Uh, so just be careful with that. But what I was making too difficult was the jacket. which I was just assuming like, oh, I'm going to have to pop those arms off. Uh, this jacket slides right off. Uh, no big deal at all. Uh, and then you put the other jacket on, which I probably should have done before I turned the camera back on there a second ago, because now I've just got to replace them again so I can get the wings in. But, uh, there you go. Oh, that's actually a really cool look though. With the goggles. Like that's, that's one tough looking duck dude. I'm still, I still feel a little underwhelmed by this. Maybe I wish the turtles was red, like the letters and turtles were red or green or had some color. I don't know. This is somewhat underwhelming to me. Man, he looks really good like that. I dig that look quite a bit, but we got to get those wings in. So uh, hang on and we'll, I'll heat those up and pop those wings in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm not super impressed with this execution. You can see there's a bunch of flash in these holes. Um, so what I'm going to do is something that I should never, ever, ever have to do. Kids, don't uh, try this at home ever. Go to your dad and say, Dad, I've got a toy with some quality control issues. And I'm wondering if you can just get in there and dig that flash out of where these holes were dug in. And he's going to be like, well, son, I'd rather not. I have better things to do with my time, like read this newspaper and watch the evening news. But I suppose, if I must help you with this ridiculous little piece of plastic, then it is my fatherly duty to do so. So, hand me that anthropomorphic duck, you little rapscallion, and let me dig the plastic burrs out of its poorly engineered backside that's how that conversation is going to go because i'm sure lots of children in a weird voiced 1960s fathers are buying super seven ultimate figures i don't even know if this is going to work but it has to help to get this plastic junk uh that was left in these holes out you can see there's a little bit on there. I need to clean my X-Acto blade. Uh, that is somewhat better. I don't want to actually, you know, cut away any plastic that's supposed to be part of, you know, keeping those wings in place or anything. So I'm, I'm very gingerly just kind of scraping the inside out. Similar to how you would a jack-o'-lantern. Just trying to get the little gut pieces out. Uh, Alright, so now I've done that. Let me apply heat again. Always, always, always 
uh, put the caps back on your tools and put your tools back where they belong. Uh, in my case, in Weird Al's head. Uh, okay, so let me heat this up again off camera and we'll see what happens. All right, I went maximum heatage on this guy, 60 seconds on high. Uh, and the reason I took the jacket off is it's a soft rubber piece and I don't particularly want to be heating that up. And I want to be able to see where I'm going in. My hope is that once I actually get these wings in one time, uh, it'll be easier through the jacket. Man, that does not want to go in there. And of course, the problem is once you have one wing in place, then you have less surface area to hang on to to get the other wing in place. And of course, it's on a hinge. Oh, that one went... Yeah, that one went right in. Because they do sit... Because the jacket will be around those, so they're going to sit just a little bit out from the body. Okay, they're in now. Uh, which, of course, is ridiculous. It's not okay that I just had to do all of that to get this toy to work like it's supposed to. Uh, and also, look at how ripped this guy is. Leia Thompson, uh, get her on the phone for this guy, huh? Okay, so now, let's see if I can get those wings out and get the jacket back on without heating him up again. Thank you guys for uh, sticking with me through this thrilling toy video. Okay, jacket is back on. Let's get that first wing in. Okay, you can kind of feel it pop into place once it's seated correctly. So that is nice. There we go. Okay, the wings are in. And something I didn't point out before I, I, that you guys probably saw, I like how the jacket is torn around the wings. I think it was like that on the original figure as well. Uh, so, the wings are in. Uh, and again, he's got... The figure is balanced well. He's going to be able to stand up uh, with those wings out on the shelf. Let's get our pilot head back on. And again, just press directly down on the top of the head. Oh, gosh. Those wings really change the dynamic of how you can handle this figure and uh, get the parts to interact. I should have put the head back on before uh, putting the wings on. Let's see if I can get enough. There we go. Look at that. Get those wings kind of slightly back. Because, yeah, I mean, now you guys are getting the full treatment. I've got to pose this guy. I've got to make him look like I'm going to make him look on the shelf. Uh, because you guys have stuck through this whole thing. Uh, so let's get that hand out. I'm just going to give him the pistol for now. I'm not totally sold. Ooh, gosh, you guys. The peg is kind of just a peg. It doesn't have the the uh, thicker top on it. So it goes in really easily. Oh, okay. No, it stays in. So we get that one going on. I think in this hand, I'm just going to give him a uh, kind of grasping adventure hand. And look at that. Oh, man. Ace, duck, ready for action. Uh, yeah, there's some flaws. There's some stuff that didn't go as smoothly as it should have. But that is an awesome looking action figure. Uh, fix the back holes. Give him darker brown leather. And I'll be much happier. But overall, still... Real oh, let's, put it, let's put that tail back on. Just for... Because I think I might... I probably am going to leave that tail on. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Ace Duck. Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates. Uh, looks great. Takes a little effort. But at the end of the day, I'm putting him on the shelf and he looks awesome. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. 
And uh, I don't know, what, what does Ace Duck say? Uh, take to the skies and watch your backs and your bills and your beaks. Quack, quack. Smash that like button if you like needless things.